Welcome to an unabridged audio recording of Raven Cognition by Daniel Klein. Corvids have often been referred to as feathered apes, the reason being that much research on crows and ravens has indicated that they possess a level of cognitive ability that matched that of our primate ancestors. Now let's take a look at some of the research. In 2004, Bunyar and Heinrich, two of the main raven researchers, found that ravens have the ability to gaze follow around objects. In this experiment, ravens were made to follow the gaze of a human experimenter around a barrier to a specific location. And what they found was that around 70% of the ravens were able to perform the task by either flying on top of the barrier or stepping around it. These results seem to suggest that ravens may be able to understand the mental state of others by inferring what they can or cannot see. However, skeptics have preferred to attribute this ability to simple behavioral rules, denying the presence of cognition within this process. But I think they'll come around one day. In 2011, Bunyar found that ravens exposed to three different pilfering scenarios are able to adjust their pilfering tactics according to the knowledge state of conspecifics. Three scenarios were set up. The first, in which a conspecific witnessed the formation of two caches, the knowledgeable paradigm. The second, in which a conspecific did not witness the formation of either cache, the ignorant paradigm. And the third, in which a conspecific witnessed the formation of only one of the caches, the semi-knowledgeable paradigm. After each scenario, the focal subject was released into the room to pilfer the caches. The results showed that the focal subject was quicker to pilfer both caches when a conspecific was fully informed or knowledgeable of their locations, as shown by decreased latency. On the contrary, the focal subject delayed pilfering of the caches if the conspecific was ignorant of their location, as shown by increased latency. Furthermore, in the partially informed events, the focal subject was quicker to pilfer the cache that conspecifics had observed and delayed pilfering the cache which had been obstructed from their view. These results seem to indicate that ravens understand the knowledge states of conspecifics and adjust their pilfering tactics accordingly. Researchers have labeled this as third-party intentionality and indicate that it is a precursor to theory of mind. That ravens may possess third-party intentionality has also been demonstrated in their caching abilities. In 2002, Bunyar et al. showed that ravens will use visual barriers to obstruct the view of conspecifics during caching and additionally will sometimes recache food depending on whether they suspect that a conspecific has observed the original caching event. Similar to pilfering, these tactics seem to suggest that ravens may have an understanding of the intentions of conspecifics and may adjust their caching techniques based on the representation of others' minds. Whether or not this is true remains contested. To date, the most prominent theory explaining why ravens are so intelligent has been proposed by Horik et al. The theory suggests that owing to certain socio-ecological problems, such as dynamic social context, unpredictable food sources and habitats, corvids, like apes, develop complex cognitive traits. These are suggested to include causal reasoning, flexibility, and basic theory of mind. I hope you enjoyed this presentation, and we'll talk to you next time.